Hi, I'm JT Masit. I'm with Colorado Remix Concrete Association, otherwise known as CRMCA. And previously, we've put out some videos in regards to the ACI Field 1 certification, and in particular, the ASTM C31 making and curing specimens. In that, we talked very briefly about initial curing. Uh, here, I want to talk a little bit more in depth on uh, what initial curing really means and what should be done. After casting, the cylinder should be placed in an initial curing environment that follows the ASTM C31 standards. The cylinders must be moved to initial curing no more than 15 minutes after casting. If the top surface is disturbed, refinishing of the surface can be completed, but this doesn't mean that damage can be repaired. If dropped or more than the top surface is damaged, the cylinders must be completely recast. The cylinders should be held in an initial curing storage for up to 24 hours. Initial curing is not just very important for casting cylinders or testing in the field, but also part of the concrete process on a construction site. Uh, concrete compression strength testing is dependent on proper initial curing and proper casting of these cylinders. A cooler, insulated box, construction office, or a commercially manufactured curing container can be used. Storage units must be on a level surface and large enough to keep the cylinders upright. Vibration or disturbing of the cylinders and curing area should be completely avoided. The initial curing temperature should be between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature should be recorded to provide a report of at least the minimum and maximum temperatures in the storage. Use of ventilation, ice, water, or cooling devices in hot weather. At times in warmer weather, five gallon buckets can be used with water. If water is used, immersion of the entire cylinders is expected. Lids should always be used in this instance. Heating devices or insulation in cold weather. Using water should not be used in cold weather, as the water could freeze. Hand warmers should also not be used, as they do not provide consistent heat throughout the storage box. Leaving cylinders out in the open is not acceptable at any time of the year. Damp sand pits or burial can be performed. Make sure the location is marked clearly. After 24 hours, the cylinder should be taken to final storage until strength testing is required. Remember, the strength test specimens are dependent on this initial curing being properly completed. References such as ACI 301-16, ACI 311.6-18, and ACI 318-19 discuss properly curing environments and temperature monitoring in more detail, as well as require specimens to be cured in accordance with ASTM C31. It is always highly recommended to discuss the on-site initial curing facilities with your client, the owner, contractor, and any other entities on the project to coordinate responsibilities. If you are a CRMCA member and wish to discuss the content in this video with me a little bit more detail, please contact me at the email shown and I will do my damnedest to really help you out as much as I can. I hope this assists you in understanding this procedure and even gave you a few more tricks and knowledge behind the procedure. I've shared the links to our website to ACI registrations in Colorado and other links that might be helpful to you, including links to a few other groups that show the procedure properly.